So it's October, which means it's getting chilly, and it is the perfect weather to snuggle up with a book and a delicious hot chocolate. I love how you're eyeballing the camera. So we're going to talk through like our favourite books for this autumn. Awesome. Lily, do you want to go first? So one of mine is A Sun is Also a Star, and it's by Nicola Yoon. She wrote Everything Everything, um, uh, and it's a book about a girl who's Jamaican and her family's being deported out of America and she has one last day um, and she meets Daniel and they spend a day together and she's into science and facts and he's really emotional and he's into the love oh, that's in a big way. Will it make me cry? No. No? Okay. It sounds like the kind of book it, that will make me cry. It will make you feel, Amy. It will give you the feels. It will give you all, all the, the feels. feels. <laughs> it's very hopeful. Okay. That's good. So yeah, that's one of my picks. Cool. One of my picks is uh, Silence is Goldfish. This is only just out. It's by Annabelle Pitcher, um, who also wrote Ketchup Clouds and My Sister Lives in the Mantelpiece. Uh, she's really good at kind of dealing with, uh, I guess, like the more difficult aspects of growing up and being mm -hmm. a teenager and finding out who you are. So this opens with the main character, Tess, who's 15 years old, and she accidentally discovers a blog post her father is writing where he says that he um, he isn't her biological father. That's um, not how you want to find out that I know, right? Information. The thing we love about this book is the side. Like, it has all these teeny tiny goldfish down the side, and it's just a little detail, but it's so cute. What's the goldfish got to do with it? So the goldfish is um, one of the ways that Tess learns to cope or tries to deal with the fact that what she's learned is she becomes, um, she refuses to talk, she becomes mute. Oh dear. Um, and the only person she will talk to is this little goldfish torch that she picked up in the supermarket when you're 15 years old and still at school and everything is like very much decided for you. Tess takes control of the one thing she can, which is her own voice. So super interesting, you should read it. Um, okay, my next book is um, called Penguin Bloom. I love this book for a variety of reasons. Amy has heard me talk her ear off about this. Basically, uh, the mum of the family, Sam, she was in an accident that left her paralysed. Um, so she no longer has the use of her legs. And one of their sons found a magpie in, who had a broken wing in a car park and brought him home. The book is about Penguin and the mum, Sam. And so it's a really nice book about healing and how uh, Penguin's own struggles, so her broken wing, um, helped Sam with her recovery as well. So, so yeah, this would, this is my other autumn read. Awesome. And the final book we're picking is Laura Bates, Girl Up. Love Laura Bates. You love Laura Bates. Love Laura Bates. Why do you love Laura Bates? Because she's my idol. She's just so cool and on it and she gets it. She gets it. So Laura Bates is the founder of the Everyday Sexism Project. This book scandalously was banned from some libraries um, because of the uh, biological illustrations. But basically... Uh, by biological illustrations, she means dancing vulvas. We are all on board with dancing vulvas. She's talking about um, all the things that the expectations that girls have kind of put on them. about They have to be beautiful and they have to be kind and they have to be made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Um, and she's saying that girls can be whatever the hell they want to be. Whatever they want. Um, uh, and it's a really great book. Uh, so yeah, they are our autumn reads. If you have any suggestions for things we should be reading this awesome, please let us know in the comments. Um, and subscribe to our channel so you can see more of our awesome videos. Bye. My first period was like an absolute nightmare. I was really desperate to have a period. I was about uh, 17 when I got my period. I thought I was too young to be having a period because none of my friends were having a period. But actually, initially, before the blood, there was the, I don't know if this is too much, but the um, brown discharge. Something's wrong with me, Mum! What is this brown stuff coming out of me? Is it poo? I almost felt like embarrassed to tell my mum, even though she was my mum and I was just having a period. I remember just sort of dancing in my living room going, yes, I'm a woman.